Hey everyone, so the question is, can you mine cryptocurrency with solar power? Yes. So here is my current mining setup. It's extremely simple. There is a Raspberry Pi here, which is the brains of the operation. It runs the mining software. I have a powered USB hub here because these miners draw quite a bit of power for a USB outlet. Uh, and then I have two future bit moon landers, and these are rated at three and a half to five mega hashes per second for each one of these. If you feel like you can't set something like this up, I promise you that you can. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm not an expert on any of this. I just followed step-by-step -step instructions online. And you can also use these on your PC on just a regular USB port if you have a, a higher powered USB port like a 3.0. All right, so we're currently mining. You can see the little red LEDs flashing on the back of the, the miners here, uh, indicating hashes being sent to the mining pool. So this setup draws about 30 watts of power, which over a 24-hour period comes out to about 720 watt hours, which is, it sounds fairly significant, but it wouldn't be that hard to power this off of solar power. Um, and I currently have 16 kilowatt hours of lithium iron phosphate battery storage and 2500 watts in solar panels so this is very easy to power on solar power so we're currently mining let's see what kind of mega hashes we're getting right now so you can see here we are mining at 7.3 mega hashes per second and if we go to the calculator up here at the top we can figure out just how much We can figure out just how much Litecoin we're going to mine with this. And actually, let's plug this in here too, just, just for the sake of example. Alright, so in 24 hours, I'm going to mine this much Litecoin. It is going to be worth $0.02, cents, and it's going to cost me $0.09 cents if I had this plugged into the wall. So that's a net loss every day of $0.07. Cents. So... After 30 days, I'll have 0 .007 Litecoin. It will be worth uh, 61 cents, and it will cost me $2.59 to, to mine it if it were plugged into the wall. So that's $2 a month uh, that I'm not spending on electricity to mine this Litecoin because I'm getting it for free from the sun. 61 cents a month is, is cool and all, but, I mean, that's not very much. So I want to try and scale this up. And I'm going to do that with this. This is an Antminer L3 Plus. Now, my Moonlanders are in the background hashing away right now. Uh, and while I was waiting for this, I was able to get those to hash at about 9.5 to 10 mega hashes per second combined. So that will be a whopping 81 cents per month. Now, this will hash at 504 mega hashes. So 10, 504. So the calculations on this say I should be mining around $40 a month if I can let it run 24-7. But I'm not going to be able to let this thing run 24-7. It's winter in Michigan right now, and I'll be lucky to get a few hours of runtime out of this every day with the overcast skies that we typically have this time of year. Um, that being said, I will still get some runtime out of this in the winter, and I just bought three more 285 watt solar panels from Santan Solar. They had a Black Friday special going on and they had some SunTech 285 watt panels on sale for $68 a piece and I couldn't help myself so I should be getting more power now. The additional solar panels should help a lot for winter time like now. Um, in the summer I'm really limited by the charge controller. It will only charge at 45 amps at 48 volts DC. So let's get this thing hooked up and try it out. All right, so we are hashing away. Uh, the ant miner is here, it's up and running, and then the power supply is back here. And then this is plugged into the inverter, which is currently powering this on solar. And if you look down here, so we're drawing about 18 amps at 936 watts from the batteries themselves, and that's because of the losses in this inverter. This is actually supposed to draw about 800 watts, but because of the inefficiency of this, the uh, inverter, we're drawing more from the batteries than what this uses. So that's kind of an uphill battle on the solar power side of things. All right, everyone, I have it up and running, 
you can see here that I am drawing 17.9 amps from my batteries at 938-ish uh, watts. And so let's check out the computer screen and see what we're hashing at. All right, so this is the screen you get when you type in the Antminer's IP address up here. Um, you can see over here that the miner is hashing in 494 mega hashes per second right now. The average is 506. And if I go to my account, you can see here on Litecoin pool, we are hashing at 527, 519 mega hashes per second. So my plan is to basically, uh, you can see now, now that it's starting to hash, now that the temperature is going up and the fans are spooling up, we're pulling a little bit more power. Uh, my plan is to allow the batteries to go between 50 and 40% every day. So whatever power I can bring in throughout the day uh, while I'm at work, when I get home, I'm gonna turn the miner on and discharge my batteries until I hit that percentage and we'll just see what we get. I'll probably monitor this over the next few weeks and um, report back. So it is winter here in Michigan, but I still get a few hours of mining time out of the batteries every day, even though I'm not getting anywhere near as much sun as I would get in the summer. So the question of can you mine on solar power? Yes, but you need a very large solar array. I now have 3,500 watts of solar panels up and running, and on a cloudy day, I'm lucky to pull in 200 watts uh, consistently throughout the day. Uh, it's not very economical from a perspective of building a system just to mine cryptocurrency, but since I already had it, uh, this is a great way to utilize that power in a way that I think is going to pay off in the long run. So the big question is, how much Litecoin am I actually mining? And right now it is about a six to seven day period for me to get a 0.01 Litecoin payout, which is like $1.30. So I'm making uh, like five bucks a month. So I ordered the miner on eBay because it was a good deal, uh, 130 bucks shipped and it's up and running working fine. So no complaints on that side of things. Um, and I also ordered the extra solar panels on a Black Friday special. So that's the reason that I did this video this time of year. Um, I'm more than likely going to do an update video when summertime gets here and I get tons and tons of sunlight and can basically power that thing 24 seven. My guess is because cryptocurrencies are entering a bull market right now, the prices are probably going to go up, meaning more people will mine it, meaning it's going to be harder to mine. So I don't expect it to be quite as profitable as far as how many coins I can get right now. If I ran it 24 seven, it would be about half a Litecoin per month. Um, I don't think it's going to be that easy by the time May rolls around, um, maybe even half that much. I might only get a quarter of a Litecoin per month, but I will be able to run it more consistently. And if I can only get a quarter Litecoin per month instead of a half a Litecoin, that probably means that one Litecoin is probably 200 to 300, maybe even more dollars per coin. So I hope you all enjoyed that video. Uh, it wasn't super technical, but it did answer the question for me about whether or not I could mine cryptocurrency on solar power. I really had fun doing it, and now that I have it up and running, every chance I get, I'm mining with it, uh, and I'm super stoked to run it in the summer, because that will be the real test. Alright everyone, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.